Hi there. In this video, we're going to cover how to install the animation picker that we use here at ProRigs. So go ahead and open any browser of choice and head on over to mgland.com. All we need to do is click the MG Picker Studio. So it will look similar to our current page, but we'll switch on over into the MG Picker Studio and we can then click the download button. This will bring us to the location to either download from Mediafire or Google Drive. Uh, it's going to be the same thing. It's just which repository you wish to download from. In this case, I've chosen Mediafire. You'll see here there are old versions and then current every single working version ever. And then here you have your up-to-date releases. Go ahead and which, click whichever corresponds with the operating system that you are using. In this case, I have Windows. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And it will open this Mediafire download page. Go ahead and click the download button right here. And you'll see it download. Once your download has completed, you'll see your zipped folder. We can go ahead and use any zip program you'd like. In this case, I'm using pzip. And we'll go ahead and extract into a new folder. Once this is finished, we can go ahead and close our browser. Opening up the folder now, instead of the zip folder, you'll see there is an MG Picker installer. It's as easy as dragging and dropping it into Maya. But before doing so, I'd like to mention that whichever tab we have open on our shelf is where the picker location will install. So in this case, I'm going to use a custom shelf that I have named My Shelf. You may find one in your Maya that just says custom, I think that's a great location to install this. Now that we have that as our active shelf, let's go ahead and open our documents again, go to our downloads, and drag and drop that picker installer. You'll see it prompts us with a nice easy install wizard, and then we can go ahead and just go through, click through this. If you'd like to read the end user agreement, you can do so. This part here is just letting you know when you are using the free license, you can create pickers for yourself and you can use pickers that have been previously created like the ones here at ProRigs, but you will not be able to share any picker that you create. So let's go ahead and click next. We'll leave these basic uh, installation methods, but if you'd like to change the la language, you can do so. I'll press install here. It will let you know it's finished, and we can see the two icons prompted in our shelf that we had open. So again, if you had a different shelf open at the time, it will automatically add those there. You'll notice the picker automatically opened upon install, but if it didn't, you can always go ahead and click the red picker icon. The red icon is the animator mode, which means the user end. If you open the yellow man, that is how one creates a picker. You can see that our pickers automatically load within our scenes. They've been nested inside of our rig hierarchy so all one has to do is open the picker and you'll see it load automatically. If for some reason this is not the case, you may have the picker location improperly placed, but you can go ahead and just browse and open a picker if for some reason it doesn't automatically load. I hope you found this video helpful and any other videos that you may need on the website. Thank you for watching. Until next time.